Hello my loves and welcome to Sustain Global. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on the, the channel. Uh, I hope you can consider subscribing and drop a comment down below to get yourself a shout out in the next episode. Uh, if you're not new, thank you for coming back. I hope you enjoy the content and you're free to really recommend or comment down below any other type of content that you would like to see we're still trying to build a niche for this channel and if you can explore the channel currently i'm really doing pretty much um exploring so many things so i appreciate your presence here and let's move on to the purpose of today's video so one, it is very concerning when you're in campus or you're in college and you have so much free time in your hands. And this is true for most of the students. I know maybe if you're on a crash program or you are a part-time student, then you wouldn't relate with this because you probably have very little free time. Uh, however, if you're a full-time student and you really have scattered classes here and there your weekends are free then you have a lot of free time in your hands so why don't we use this free time to make some dough i know right the economy is skyrocketing life is hard and who doesn't need some extra cash so let's dive in straight to some of the ways in which you can make money for yourself while studying at the same time now the first one that came to my mind was actually typing assignments for your classmates. Yes. Do you have a laptop or are you a fast typer maybe on your uh, iPad or your your uh, tablet? If you have a, some type of screen, a desktop that you can actually type on. I know most of the time you're probably sitting there watching movies or doing some extra things just for fun. But you could really use your skill uh, to type other people's assignments at a fee. Now that fee you will create for yourself depending on your speed, of course, and how accurate you are so that you don't make mistakes on somebody's assignment how trustworthy you are how can i trust you because you're my classmate you could probably copy my assignment you know and or try to own it as yours so that is the first one moving on to number two is you could actually become a shop assistant now i know you're gonna ask for the first thing is which shop or how can I become a shop assistant actually get paid? Where do I get the time to become a shop assistant? Now, most of the people actually, for example, in a, a bigger shop, no, I'm not talking about the smaller shops, they, they, they don't really have much time, let's say, cleaning up before the, the, the start of the day or at the end of the day, depending on how they do their cleaning up. Secondly, they don't really have much time organizing their shelves and they don't have much time um, or they don't mostly have assistance for when they want to go somewhere or run an errand or re let's say go restock so that uh, they, they don't close their shop while going to do a restock. Now, if you can be that person who is available for that, you can talk to, let's say, a local shopkeeper nearby where you normally go buy your bread, go buy your milk, you could create that rapport to the extent that they trust you to actually sit at their shop while they go do something and then when they are back they can probably give you a fee depending on how long you helped, you know. The third one is you could be a student leader. Now this is may, may seem common and it is a very limited chance because only one can become can sit on one post right for an elective year. So student leaders often get paid maybe at the end of the year or the end of the semester and this can be a way for you to actually make some money while in college. I'm not going to explain so much about this because it's literally straightforward. What you really have to do is actually go ahead and campaign your strategies, go campaign your ideas 
for your fellow students if you want to be in charge of welfare if you want to be in charge of if you want to be the secretary general if you want to be the chairperson of the student association you can do that um the fourth one is be a say if you are religious or you actually go to a church a mosque a temple any sort of religious place of worship you can become the instructor for a particular group say for example christian groups i know they have sunday school islam has madrasa and uh, for christianity they also have a battalion they also have cadet they have the star they have youth groups so many things they have choirs you can become literally a choir instructor if you're good at music if you are um, good in you know the scripture and you have actually been a sunday school teacher maybe in your local church now you're in this new place and you find a church and you find a mosque and you find a temple where you normally go to you can actually sign up there and become the sunday school teacher teach their cadet madrasa if you're a muslim and i don't know what they call it at the temple but you can actually teach those young children then at the end of the year your church will your your place of worship will appreciate you with a fee and i'm not saying that this is automatic because it depends on the kind of church but don't rely on it so much so that you think working at the church will actually get you paid right depending on the church but most of the instructors actually get a fee just an appreciation fee which you wouldn't get if you weren't then an instructor an active one and you have to be active and you have to be faithful in your work the next one i've actually lost count i think it's the fifth one is you could uh hook sweets or drinks in school now students in campus mostly um ha- they, they don't have easy access to places to eat and you probably have packed up classes back to back you don't have a lunch break you don't have any break to actually go grab yourself a snack you could be a very good necessity to your to your classmates or your schoolmates when you have you are hawking these snacks so in between your classes you could walk around the school and actually uh, situate yourself in a place where people can see you so that they see that you're selling sweets and this you actually have to just make sure that it is legally accepted in your school in your campus and you go register yourself for most of the time is just register yourself at the let's say dean of students or the administration and they actually sign you to be able to to be accepted you know to do business in school because that's the reason doing business if it's not accepted then you can do this in other outside premises say just locally with your friends uh you just make them aware that you do sell this so that they can maybe buy them after class and outside school right the next one is uh selling clothes selling shoes and other stuff that you can actually be able to sell for example bags um what else do people need you can even sell utensils but i don't know things that are movable and things that will actually go out so that you don't stay there with so much stock for a very long time uh most of the time university students or college students are on trend with their clothes so if a certain type of uh jeans or trousers are in trend you can buy a certain amount and actually sell and then you know while the trend goes out you 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 are you're no longer left with the stock so that you keep on going with the trend and actually grow your business just like that and market yourself making sure that because most of the time there's so much competition when it comes to shoes get a good sourcing for your supply and then you make sure you sell them make sure you market them in a very good way and actually try to balance this with your studies because as i said most of the time you really have so much free time let's say your classes end at 7 and you live in a hostel you can start hawking your clothes or your merchandise from that time say 7 to 9 or depending on when most of the people in your hostel go to sleep 
or no longer want that disturbance, someone knocking at their door trying to sell merchandise. Depending on your availability, if you're available, if you're free, if you don't have a class say, from 10 to, to 2 or 10 to 4, if you have a whole day free, you can literally utilize that time and walk around so many places trying to get so many people to buy your goods. The other one is to become a social media influencer. Now, this has been so common, but the thing is, it requires you to have quite a following on there. So, the first step is for you to actually build a following. I think for you to start getting, say, affiliate uh, payments and stuff like that, uh, you can you might have to have at least 5,000 followers so that the brand that is trusting you with marketing or representing or becoming an ambassador for you, to, for them to pay you, can actually trust you to bring uh, some numbers, you know, so that they can actually trust you. Like, if you give you um, a product to market, how many people, how many people from your following can actually buy it, right? Um this also has to do with being a youtuber if you can do this you also require some certain amount of following just as i'm doing right now and that's why i'm actually asking for you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss once i upload another episode and also to comment down below any other types of content that you'd like to see especially if you're a campus or a college student this is an area that I can really speak on and um, this was an area that is not so much uh, limited because there's so much diversity, there's so many ways to do life in campus and college. So there's no right or wrong answer to it. At the end of the day, you just have to make sure that you complete your class, you complete your studies in time and uh, you know, you like if you're, if you're determined to actually get done with it, uh, so I don't feel like there's so many limitations. So just comment down below any other type of content that you'd like to see around this topic. Another one is become a sales person. Now there's so many com uh, companies and so many areas that agencies that actually require sales people. For example, uh, in a place that if you if if you are in a campus or a college where where um, say say there's so many restaurants near your campus right now they will require some sales some sales person to actually market their restaurant so that uh, people can actually choose it out of the so many ones that are around right now this will depend on the cost this will depend on their customer service it will depend on their food their affordability uh the hospitality in there now if you're the sales person you will get some commission whenever people uh, go there and say, so-and-so sent me, so-and-so sent me, or just make the restaurant popular. If, say, there is... The other thing that you can do is actually, um, say, drinks, popular drinks. You can become the salesperson. If there is, uh, let's say, a new phone coming up and they are trying to market it to campus students, you can sign up and become the one of the leading salespeople. If there is a car depot near you, you can actually go there ask because those people are no, normally it's sort of on temporary basis for the casual salespeople. So you just go there, ask, request, and you make sure that you have the skills, the people's skills, people's management. You can actually convince someone to literally buy something that they uh, most of the time didn't have intention to buy it um then once of course when you're a salesperson you get commission the other thing that you can actually do when it comes to sales is mostly insurance banks and insurance institutions need people to sell their uh, insurances and say they are loans so they or open accounts with them so if they're trying to build a base when it comes to insurance uh, when it comes to loaning they will source out for salespeople so you can sign up for that too 
The other thing is you can become a Jumia ambassador or online um online shops ambassador because online shops and online shopping is sort of the way to go now because everything is online everything is on social media so uh, so many shops are opening online and one of the um one of the agencies that does this is jumia that is in kenya and i think for most part of africa you also have uh say amazon over in america you have um so many sources of online shopping so that there's competition and they need people to become ambassadors and actually market their services so if you can register and sign up for that you can be paid whenever people use your link to shop on on there and get paid the other thing is and the final one because it's not for say not for everyone is actually to identify your talent and use it to pay you now this will have to do with um music art say acting you know just identify your talent if you are as you if you like uh speaking in let's say public speaking now you have the skill you can actually sign up in local schools around you and go um market yourself and talk to the administration tell them i have this and this to actually speak to your to your students and if they allow you in you can build yourself like that uh if you can draw if you can paint you can just make your art and sell it if you are a musician you can actually sign up because most of the people actually this is how the talents start up and if you have an extra skill for example if you can if you can become a carpenter say during your part time you can go help out in a workshop because actually this is my true story because i was so much interested in furniture and i was so much interested in woodwork so i actually went around looking for a carpenter who wouldn't mind uh me working in their workshop and so they allowed me there and i would i used to just do basic things that they wouldn't mind if i worked on them not that i ever worked on my own original work so if they have any finishing touches to do say on a bed on a chair on a cabinet things like those or i would help him whenever he needed assistance here and there and then say at the end of 2 3 days he would pay me every time i went there I learned more and more skills that I really didn't have and that was the advantage of it. And so identify your talent, get a skill that you can use to actually make money for you. And that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you have questions around here or how you could be helped depending on the region that you are in, I hope you can actually comment down below. It is an open platform for everybody uh but just be 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 you know be respectful especially to youtube community guidelines don't use hate speech and i hope i can help help to you have a good time and bye bye